Hey everybody, JPT back with Knights of the Old Republic. I got stories for you. We'll talk about those things while we continue on with our adventures. Did we talk to this guy yet? I don't remember. You again. Didn't I tell you people everything I, I knew? So why do you keep coming? Yeah, my face. Yes. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh wait, what's in here? Open your footlocker. Find them credits. Yeah, you all got them credits. Let's see. Murder trial. Spoken to the judges. The court. It's not what he wanted. I want to do this one. Claims that he was secretly trying to turn her into a double agent. Hmm. Right. So. I've talked about this in a couple of my other videos. Get me. Your wish? Yes. Get out. Yes. Get out. Ooh. No problem. Didn't work. Dang it. <laughs> Let me add. <laughs> Let me in. Um, I got really sick. Like, so I'm recording this on a Thursday. This past weekend in real life, in real time, I got so ill. It was bad. It was really bad. So if you watch my other videos and you hear me kind of talk about this stuff... I apologize, I won't get into too much detail. I think I talked about it in a either a future or a past um, Jedi Outcast video. So we already talked to Gloompor. Let's go back and talk to... Uh, oh my gosh! Yes. <laughs> I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna use you for right now. <clears throat> sure. There we go, okay. Let's go talk back to Ingus or in I I Genus. You're the one defending Sunry now, huh? Well, did we already talk to this guy? Well, thought maybe he'd have more to say. Ooh, who's this? You, Jedi. I hear you are investigating the Sunry murder trial. Are you not? I am. Hmm. This case is not at all what it appears to be. Many currents, might I say, flow beneath the surface. Tell me more. This murder is much more complicated than it may first appear. The Sunri and Elasa are proxies for their governments, and both sides want the other to fail. Mm. You can see the journey uh, by the footprints. You understand, yes? Yes. Dear, dear. I'm saying they both had something to do with it. Duh. They both kept their hands in this from the start. If you want to get to the My bottom, character looks matter, high. You might seek information from he's both like, the Sith and the Republic. Likely he's bored, I guess. Look at him. He's just like, oh, gosh, I'm so tired. <laughs> they just give it to me? Yeah. No, 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 of course not. You think state secrets are for sale on the common market? Yeah. You have to be mm -hmm, devious to get what you want. Heed my advice, Jedi. And you may yet find the truths in this murder. Interesting, interesting. Let's go here now. Yeah, I was feeling fine Friday night. Woke up like really early, like 2 a.m. Saturday morning. It was bad. And I'm feeling like today's like the first day, so it's been... Let's see, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Wednesday, I, I felt okay yesterday, but today I'm just like, yeah, living life. <laughs> Back in action. Back to recording videos. Welcome to Manan. I'm Roland Wan. As the official representative of the Republic Embassy on this planet, I'm here to help all citizens of the Republic should they require aid. So why are your soldiers loading so much Kulto? Kulto is a precious resource. Its healing powers are near miraculous. During times of war, Kulto becomes even more valuable. As long as we this have the sounds permits, like somebody we else continue either to this harvest Kulto or... and ship it to our Republic soldiers battling against the Sith. Of course, the Sith enjoy the very same privileges. If there was some way we could gain an edge over the Sith and our Kulto supply, but the Selkai are fiercely protective of their neutrality in this conflict. They do not want to grant either side an advantage. Don't do meth. Don't do drugs. Any drugs. Um... I am on a mission. Oh, of course. Why of not? course, I'll do whatever I can. But I'm only a simple diplomatic representative of the Republic. 
I doubt I can be of any use to the Jedi Council. Tell me all you know. I go Batman on him. An ancient and forgotten Where's race. Rachel? And you think it may be here on Manon? Hmm. Do you know something? Well, perhaps. But if you want to get information about that, you'll have to do something for of me course. first. Come on, tell me. No, no. Take you it. do what I want, and maybe Take I can help you out. Until then, nothing. So max that persuasion thing out, so everyone has to tell me what I want to know. We were using a submersible reconnaissance droid in the ocean surrounding Otto City, and it was damaged. Mm. It took a data recording of the outside of the city before being driven off by the Firaxan sharks. But while it was that returning to the surface, it encountered difficulties and was disabled. Its automatic systems floated it to the surface, but we could not retrieve it in time. The Sith were applying subtle pressure to the Selkath authorities for some reason we've not determined, and were able to delay us long enough that they could retrieve the droid before we did. The droid's data centers are heavily encrypted, so it will take the Sith several days, we believe, to get to its data. It was captured 12 hours ago. It is imperative that we get it back. By the way, I also wanted to show you my phone. This, you see how I dropped it? Row, row. So, I've got a new phone coming, hopefully either tomorrow or the day after. And my phone does a really cool thing now. When you try to op like open it, it doesn't open. But the phone itself recognizes that it's broken. Like it was like, cause like it tries to open up all my applications at the same time, cause it thinks you're clicking on everything, and it's like, okay, if you actually need to take a phone call, take a phone call. That's it. You can push. My phone has buttons on the back. It's the LG G3. It has buttons on the back. It has a volume up and volume down and a power button. To answer a call, you hit both the volume up and down at the same time. And to end the call, you hit the power button. That's awesome. I thought I was not gonna be able to get emergency phone calls, cause everything's a touch screen now. Anyways, it's heavily guarded, to it. we're sure, in the Sith Embassy here on Manon. Since we have no remaining soldiers to spare, and certainly not our elite ones, we have no one capable of entering the Sith base and retrieving it. That is what we would ask you to do. So if my phone rings, is basically what I'm trying to get to. If my phone rings, I'm going to have to basically answer it, because I have I can't, like, turn it to silent. Sorry. How do I get in the Sith there base? There are several leads we've been working on to get into the Sith base. Any of them should work for you, although it might be wise to concentrate your efforts on just one. The first method that's possible is to help us interrogate a Sith prisoner we managed to catch after he tried to infiltrate our base. He's being held just inside our enclave. We think he may be able to give us the passcode that the Sith give their informers to enter the base. He has proved most resilient so far. Dun dun dun. <laughs> is there any other way? We managed to pick up a crate of blank Sith data cards. The type they use for pass cards. The encryption system to unlock them is very difficult, oh, however. But if you are more skilled than our technicians, you may be able to gain access that way. Is there another way? The Sith have got the Siltcalf to give them exclusive use of one of the main hangar bays. Oh, yeah, that's Visiting right. Visiting Sith Masters use this bay to land, then take a speeder over the water to an external entrance to the Sith Enclave. The luckless spy we mentioned earlier had a pass card to that hangar on him. While it is surely well guarded, it may prove to be the most direct route. Here's the card. The I Sith don't think base I've ever done that one. is very heavily guarded. If they became aware of your presence, I fear you would be quickly outnumbered and killed. Yeah. Here is a pass card to get you inside our facility. You should find all you need to get started in there. You can choose whichever of the methods you want, as long as you get in the base and get the data recording back. Which method do you think you would like to try first? I'm totally raiding the landing bay because I've never done that one. You'll need luck for that one. Odds are they have some pretty strong guards in there. I don't need luck. I've got my lightsabers. I wish you luck in your task. Should you retrieve the data recording from the droid, return it here to me, and we can see about getting you that information. Noise. What's in here? I can't talk now. I've got to get this call to load it up before my shift is over. Of course so you you're do. the one who's going to try to get into the Sith base, eh? Yup. Huh. Good luck. You're going to need it. This is our main computer room here. We got the box of pass cards we got from the Sith, but we haven't been able to break their encryption yet. We have been able to decode the numeric system they use, but there are holes in our terminal sequence patterns. Mm. Terminal sequences? The strings of numbers that end the code sequences. If we could complete those strings, we would have the key to their encryption I just entered my social security system. number, right? The encryption system is composed of six matrices. Each is based on a mathematical method. The holes we're missing are the final number in each of the strings. Most are simple, but the final two matrices seem to be much more difficult. Well, the second last matrix has a pattern looping back on itself, or something. And the last is divided into smaller subparts. 
Maybe the pattern for that is within each part. But I have to admit, all this is a bit over my head. Yeah. I haven't even been able to slice past the first Matrix, and I've been at this for hours. I've ruined a dozen cards already. But the good thing is, we have a whole box of them, so you don't have to worry about running out anytime soon. Since Roland said you were cleared, you can use the computer freely. I'll be here if you have any questions. Maybe I should have said, don't do math, kids. Because I have no idea what he just said. Let's just try the computer. Continue. Decrypt the Sith Pass card. Oh no. So one, two, three, four. Oh, it'd be. Wait. So there's one between that. Two, three, four, five, six would be 22. And this goes down three, two, one, zero. Wait. Ugh. Be eighteen, right? Three, two, one, zero, one, two. Yeah. Uh, this is just multiplying by two, so sixty four. This is just dividing by the number before it, right? Or no, dividing by two. I can't believe I've gotten this far. Oh gosh. 13281. What? So these two. Divide by two. Oh no. I I might have might have maxed out. Error. 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 Okay, this one I don't know. Let's let's maybe talk about it. I I don't know this one. Accessing what have I gotten myself into? I don't know. I, that got too complicated for me. <laughs> I'm not very smart. Oh, we got plenty of spikes. Whoa! <laughs> Open submarine bay doors. We should totally do that. Access restricted data archives. Disable local power grid. Oh man, we could just get in there. Yeah, let's get into the data archive. Sunry incident archive. Computer screen switches to a fish eye view from some sort of small surveillance device on a wall. A beautiful young woman enters the room, followed by a much older man. Dun dun dun. As she walks farther into the room, he softly closes the door, pulls a blaster, and shoots her in the back. Oh my gosh. Oh, we're finding out about all of this. This must be some sort of secret recording of Sunri murdering Alaza. Or whatever her name is. I don't think we learned something. Can you continue your role of arbiter impartially, knowing that your client has committed such a crime? Yeah, he totally killed her. Yeah, so this is the whole whole thing. Okay, so you can use a key Roland gave you and force your way into the Sith-controlled hangar and fly outside the city into the embassy through the near rear entrance. Hangar is located. Yeah, so we know where that is. Oh, snap. Yeah, so I don't know if we can continue our case impartially. Sorry, my friend. Groan. 
So, you're the one Roland has got to help us interrogate this prisoner. I guess. I hope your Jedi powers will come in useful. This one has been most resistant. He's a Sith spy we picked up a little while ago, snooping around outside trying to get in. We thought he was suspicious and brought him inside when the Selkath weren't looking. But it seems the Sith have done a pretty good job of conditioning this guy, and we haven't been able to break him yet. What did they do? The Sith protect their really important spies with some sort of mental force feedback system. They can turn their minds in like on themselves, my controller. so force compulsions won't affect them. Combine this with conventional training to resist interrogation, and sometimes it takes months to get them to tell what they know. Do you want to interrogate him now? Sure. Well, the training the Sith gave him will protect him from most normal interrogation techniques, and also from force persuasion. We have found a few hooks you might find useful. He was with another man when he was first spotted. We think it was another spy, but we didn't manage to catch him. We also seized some personal documents he had on him when he was captured. It would seem that he's married to a woman named Tila. We checked this in our computers, and it seems to hold up. We've sent a couple of agents to investigate, but it may be a while. So, let's get started. Okay, but you should know what we have to work with here first. What we have here is your standard issue truth serum. It should make him spill his guts in no time. Oh, but, probably there is a him. catch. Probably too much. Because of his conditioning, he's able to resist it at small yep. doses. But if you give him too much, his body realizes what you're trying to do and shuts his mind down completely. If you do that, you'll have to inject him with an antidote that neutralizes the truth serum. Unfortunately, that too has a drawback. Yeah. It causes short-term memory loss. This may work to your advantage because you can try the same tactic over and over again. But if you use it too much, he may forget everything we oh, want to gosh. know. Oh gosh! Shall we get it started then? Not right no now. No problem. He's yeah, let's not do that right now. Definitely want to save before we even do that. Republic security clearance. All right. Well. We know a lot about this trial now. Okay, that's a computer room. We, we know that he basically shot and killed her for sure, but why? That's the big question, so maybe we go back and talk to him about that. Agent, remember where he is. Uh, visitor's hotel, the shop. Wait, West Central Courtyard. Republic Enclave, Visitor's Hotel, West Central Courtyard, East Courtyard. I don't remember. Is this the one we're actually facing? Yeah. Let's just go this way. Maybe some visual clue will kick us off. Or wait. Hey, Tyberg. How's it going? She what? Yeah. Ah, glad. Sorry. I'm... Oh, I didn't go far enough down. Ah, that's right. Just around this corner. Yeah, I think it's through here is where I want to go. But I guess we'll find out. Let's see. Is this where I want to go? Port official... Alto West, Docking Bay. Oh. So we went through the wrong one. I think? I don't know. Maybe it's through here that we want to go? Shouldn't be. But maybe it is. A lot of the stuff on this planet is confusing from what I remember. Because it's like, okay, where exactly is all this stuff again? Whereas on the other planets, I feel like they may, they kind of did a better job. Uh, it's acting like I've never been through here before. I don't know. Hey, this is the swoop gray this stuff. This street is for Sith only. You gotta pay a 20 credit toll to walk Please. down this street. You can have your credits when you take them from my cold dead hand. You talk big, but remember what we did to Taris. Maybe remember what I did on, on Taris. Ooh, yeah. 
swooping. Yeah, we haven't been here. Oh, I'm just confused. What's on behind this door? Yordle's Emporium. Okay. You got any armor plating for my swoop bike? Yes, I have a fine piece right here, a little dented but still serviceable, and it's a real bargain at that price. Oh, I thought this garbage was free. You actually sell this junk? You fish are a strange breed. Get out of my store. I'm sick of you sit and your stupid jokes. I've got real customers to worry about, and I don't need you coming in and making fun of my inventory every day. Don't worry, junk man. When I want garbage, I'll be back. Okay. Are you here to mock me as a or the Sith, or do you actually want to buy something? Whoa, it is pouring down rain all of a sudden. April. Uh, I'm not here to make fun of you. I'm JPT. This has made such trouble for me, and business has been slow. There's no excuse for my tone. I apologize. Please, let's start off on the right foot. Welcome to the used goods store of Yurtle Excel. Uh, if there's anything I can help you with, all you need to do is ask. Let me see your inventory. My stock is all second hand. But with repairs, my items are good as new. For a fraction of the price. So we've got a lot of droid stuff, which we really haven't even messed with our other or droid guy, so... Uh, maybe we can sell some stuff. Mm, oh, it's... We can sell just about anything at this point. How much does a lightsaber go for? About 225? Alright. Double bladed is 300. Short lightsaber, that's good. Um, crystals aren't that much either. Um, I feel like I have a lot of... Yeah. 375. We've got all these journals and these stimulants. Yeah. Really don't need this guy for anything. Does he have a workbench? Nope. We can't get into this stuff. Oh. I'm starting to remember this place here. They don't like me here. I know you. You're the arbiter in the murder trial. Elasa was a friend of mine. If there's any justice in the galaxy, okay, no, stop they'll feed Sunray to the Firex. Well, shouldn't you be preparing for the trial? What are you doing here? Preparing for the trial? You can ask. Uh, do you know about the case? I know he'd already be tried, convicted, and executed if the Selkath knew anything about justice. But the fish people are as weak as the Republic when it comes to such matters. Is there anything else? Well, that was helpful. Um, why is the Republic hiring so many mercenaries? Who knows? Some scheming plot, no doubt. Hopefully the Selkath uncover it and ban the Republic from the planet. Is there anything else? Yeah, I don't think we're gonna get any answers. I haven't the faintest clue as to what you're talking about. Is there any... Yeah. Go... Just let me in. Oh, I have business with the Sith. I know. Shouldn't... Ha! We know who we have business with. If you don't know how to get in, then we Okay. Go. Never mind. I will say he didn't do it and blame it on somebody else. That's just how I roll. The traveling man. <laughs> I have no desire to speak to you. I know you have links to the Republic. I have no desire. Oh, she was talking to me. I thought she was talking to the other guy. That's why I was like, hey, talk to me now. I'm certainly not uh, neutral, that's for sure. Swoop registration. Do I talk to you? Find they are an excellent way to relieve stress, and in my business, I need all the stress relief I can get. He's talking about the racist. Who are you? My name is Vec. I work for Ithrak 
Goldor, a merchant who deals in very rare and expensive arts, he serves as the go-betweener for buyers and sellers throughout the galaxy. He also is the security advisor, a highly demanding job. The fact that Ithorak seems to delight in insulting and berating me is even more difficult. They're wearing a Sith uniform, though. To be honest, he's not really with them. I just wear this uniform to gain respect. People are less likely to give me trouble if they think I might be with the Sith. That makes sense. Don't you think the Sith, though, might take exception to that? That's right. But the Sith and Manan aren't about to do anything to get them in trouble. Not if it means getting sanctions against their culto shipments. As long as I don't actually say I'm with the Sith, they don't seem to mind. I don't know about that. So I use this outfit to, uh... Yeah, basically this is stolen valor. The psychological edge I need, and his security visor isn't easy. Uh, your job doesn't sound that hard to me. Can't even begin to imagine how hard it is dealing with the galaxy's cultural elite. They're like spoiled children throwing tantrums whenever they don't get their way. This guy's the worst of them all. Yada yada yada. Yeah, he had an outburst. You sound like you had a little temper tantrum. Do you need time out? I get used to saying that soon. Okay. a couple years, hopefully. Okay. Didn't really pay attention to what he said at the end there. Oh, I'm a racer. <laughs> I'm interested in racing. I'm sure you are. We welcome all racers, regardless of their professional status. We are trying to maintain a full field of competitors. Of course, with the destruction and tears for a bit of a rebuilding phase, our sector champion was one of the casualties there. Um, I won the season opener. <laughs> of course, he's not going to believe it. Sith interference disrupted any hollow feed that might have been verified your story. Uh, we only know that all on terrorists were lost. Maybe they were. The course is open to any that have any means to participate. 100 credits must be paid for each officially timed attempt that you make. The amount will be due before each race. I'm ready to race. Very well, but before we place your swoop in the starting position, I must collect the $100 credit fee. Um... Lowering the fee would encourage new racers. It worked! There are already a number of racers that are struggling. I will drop the fee to 50 credits. I will pay the 50 credits. Two for one. Weedle's a local favorite, but won't be much of a race. The swoop simply isn't professional quality. Time to beat 23 seconds. Okay, I can do it in 21. Just thinking out loud. Let's go. I can't remember how I did this. Go speed racer, go! Go swoop racer, go swoop racer, go swoop racer, go! Well, I definitely beat him. Could have done better. Once you get going there, it's like, oh my gosh. Woo woo woo! Woo woo woo! Wasn't twi quite 21, but it works. Why is she bad? Mm, lady. <laughs> it's funny. Look at that swagger. Orders of the first round are paid 500 credits. Oh yeah. We'll record this for future reference and wish you well on your attempt to reach the sector champion. Um, I'm ready to race. 100 credit fee. Fine. Her time is 23.25 remains the respectable mark to be. I can do that. Let's do this. Didn't think I'd be swoop racing this episode. That's usually how these games go. Oh, yeah. So basically, I'm just uh, clicking with my mouse. When it gets to that, I'm not really paying attention. So if I'm not quite accurate with it, it's because I'm trying to also hit these marks. I guess you can kind of spam it, but when you spam it, you kind of do this sort of jumping forward thing. And you want to avoid hitting these. Oh, gosh. Oh, I almost did it. Yeah, see, I hit one of those things. I couldn't even talk. I was speaking in tongues. Like, la, 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 la. Um, you know, they look like moisture evaporators. And you just don't want to hit those. 
And it gets real crazy there at the end. Did I just salute? That's awesome. Usually I go like, yeah. But 2,000 credits. Many racers bow up when they reach this level, but I have a feeling you won't. Next round of races will reach determined sector champion. You will have to be flawless to achieve that. Ready to race. Your next race would be against the leading time set by Hook to Jax. He was very insistent that you speak with him first. Please try not to anger the Gamorrean. He could prove troublesome, and we don't want this candle having jail professional scoop racers. Uh, where is he? He'll be in the racer's lounge. The room's just to the east. Okay. I'll be back later. Swoop racers only. Come on, man. Yeah, you come talk to me. I've got something to say to you, little racer. Huck to Jax doesn't like how fast you go. I told you once already, and I want you to remember you don't win the sector champion spot. If you do, there will be trouble. Okay. I win race and I will win. I will, oh, I will race and I will win. Then you and Huck and Jax are going to have some problems, I promise you that. You, were, you was worn fair and square. Whatever, dude. Shut your mouth. Let's get this over with. Talk to this guy. I'm ready to race. $100 credit fee. I can pay that. I earned $2,000. 2250 is your mark. Trust you're ready. Okay, you're probably not going to talk during this one. If I knew I was swoop racing, I would have totally brought my motorcycle on. That would have been fun. There we go. Let's get going. Oh, that was precise. Come on, get it. Get it, boy. Oh, no. 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 Yeah. That was bad. Shoot. I didn't even see the thing I hit. Everyone's going to be like, boo. See? Ha. I didn't think they actually were, but they are. I'm so... Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, these guys are ridiculing me. That sucks. I want to race again. One more time. I'm ready to race. Alright. Yada, yada, yada. Let's do this. Let's talk a big talk. Gosh, dang it. Oh! Flawless indeed. But I'm not seeing the one I'm hitting. Oh, quiet. I wish I could skip past this part. The embarrassing part. I can in editing, but I can in real life. Tears. Whoa! Lightning! The lightning strikes. One more time. One more time. And we'll... That's it. And there's the thunder. That's this. I can see the storm. It's really far away, actually. I'm just gonna spam the button. Oh, gosh! Dang it! <laughs> uh, I was like, even if you miss it, it's okay. And then I ran right into it. That's what I was thinking. Alright. Am I taking a dump? <laughs> uh, I don't know how that feels. Uh, that was bad. <laughs> bad memories. Whew. Coming out at all ends. One more time. <laughs> I'm persistent. Long video, anyways. Oh, hands on the wheel. JPT take the wheel. Ah. Oh. 
shoot. Yeah, you're going to have to be real accurate with that one. I, I, I'm okay with that one. Like, I'm okay. I'm okay losing that one. Like, I don't know. Without going left. <laughs> just animate vomit in there for you guys. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm not too concerned about winning the whole thing. At least right now. So, back later. And I think that's going to do it for this episode. So, uh, we'll keep on keeping on. And, uh, yeah, that's it. So until next time, this is JPT. Go play your games, and I'll be seeing you.